video, we'll discuss how to read items from a SharePoint list using PNP PowerShell script. And also we'll discuss how to delete the item from the SharePoint list using PNP. And uh, we'll try to resolve the threshold limit error in the list when you try to delete a large amount of data. For example, if you have uh, any data which is more than 5000 in a list view, when you try to delete that directly from the uh, site contents when you try to delete the complete list you'll get an uh, error message and uh, if you want to delete uh, individually uh, to select all items from the view and it only selects 100 items at a time and you can scroll down and you can able to select another 100 items so if you have more than like 50,000 or 1 lakh records to delete like that it will take a lot of time from the UI to overcome that we can able to write a script to delete the bulk items from the SharePoint list using PNP PowerShell script. So for that, I'm going back to this PNP PowerShell and here I already connected this site and um, this site contains a lot of document libraries and list. We'll check that one. And uh, to connect this one, we have used to connect PNP online URL and this is a URL and I used interactive mode to connect. And I'm going back to this uh, site here I already opened a list name called Tanstam. so here in this list there is huge amount of data that I'll show you so if you go to site contents we can able to see the items which are which are there inside the list and this list contains more than 248,000 items so first we'll try to read a individual item and then we'll try to delete an individual item and then we'll see how we can uh, get the bulk items and uh, delete um, delete bulk items from the list now it is taking time to load meanwhile what we'll do is we'll write a script here so first what I'm doing is I'm declaring a variable called items and here I'm trying to get the list items so for that the command that is get pnp list item and um, hyphen and uh, we need to pass the list name that will take from the url so this is the list name now i am passing another parameter is id i want to get the first one and then we have another parameter called fields so here you can able to pass the field names one is title i am passing so if you want more columns you can use comma separation and then use double quotes and here i am using timestamp and these are the two columns i want to get and uh, i want to read this one so for that i am writing write host here i have this variable called items and um, I want to read the title and uh, I'm using some you can use any color I'm using a CN color here to display this item title so when I run this one I can able to see the title is new item which is coming here so this is the way you can able to read a single item if you want to read a multiple items also you can you can use the same type of logic but instead of using an id you can simply remove it now we have these items and then you can able to read this banner so it will read all the items and before going to get all the items because it contains more than 248000 what i'll do is i will go to the site inside this one we have other list also and um, few of the lists contain very less items so we'll try to read data from those so we have a list name called countries so in this we ha we have only eight items i'm copying this one and then i'll change the list name to countries now here it have will read only title it have uh, one is title and um, another one is country we'll try to read the country as well and here i'm looping these items 
earlier we just read only single item so we have used id so that is fine and this time we are we are trying to read multiple items so for that i am using this for each i'm declaring a variable and now i'm looping from the items and uh, we'll open this one and if you if you want to write anything like we we only reading title and uh, we'll try to read the country as well i will try to separate which is a country column okay done so now we'll run this one now it is it is only showing this dashes and it is not reading the title and it is not reading the country because we just passed items instead of item and when we run this one and we can able to see uh, this title is one and the country and two and everything is coming from this list the same way you can able to read from the other list as well which contains the last data as well it will read all the items and before doing this one and we'll try to delete a single item from the list which we saw just before this is a timestamp list we'll come back and we'll change this listing now here it will read all the items and before reading this one i want to delete items so to delete item we can use another command let called remove dnp list item and then the next parameter it will ask list list is timestamp and then the identity which is one so when i click this one it is going to delete a first item from this list when i run this one now remove list item with the id one so i am clicking yes and this is for the confirmation next time we will use force now this is deleted from the list when you refresh this one you cannot see this one now the first id is deleted now what i'm trying to do is i'm going back to site contents inside site contents we'll try to delete this one i'm selecting this list if you click here you can able to see the delete option when you click it is asking are you sure want to send items to the site recycle bin i'm clicking yes delete now see that the attempt operation is prohibited because it exceeds the list view threshold so which means what uh, now when when we try to delete this one we will get this type of error and we also have another option from the list settings now i opened this one if you go here there is a list settings option inside list settings also you can able to see this one delete this list so when we click this one again it is showing confirmation message when we click the attempted operation is prohibited because it exceeds the list view threshold now what i'll do is i'll try to delete the or i'll try to select the items when i click this one it only selects 100 items at a time if you scroll down and then if you scroll down more and these items are not selected when you try to select now it it will select only 200 items so this way if i want to delete more than 2 lakh 48,000 items will take more time from the UI. So to overcome this one, we'll try to utilize this one. So this one, I'm trying to use this remove PNP list item. I'll copy this one and we'll come back here and now we'll paste inside this. And uh, this we don't have, we only have time stuff and here also i'm changing which is time stamp and uh, also i want to you know display id of that Let me copy this and then
we'll try to read the id as well which is this one is id column b is capital now we, we are trying to remove this and then we'll pass this item id here which is a identity and um, every time it will ask the confirmation instead of uh, you know instead of uh, you know clicking yes every time and we'll use this force and next time it will not ask for the confirmation now we are trying to read data from the timestamp list and the fields are title and timestamp we are going to show and um, see here we can use id as well now we'll try to run this one if we get any error we'll try to resolve that when i click this one it will try to read and uh, we are getting something um, like the first id which is deleted now here we got total eight items and which is deleted why it is doing like this because the eight items which we have in another list and here we got an error message few of the error messages we got the attempted operation is prohibited it exceeds the list view threshold limit that is fine because when we are trying to read the data and which contains more than that and uh, we will get this type of error message to overcome this one we'll try to use any of the uh, parameters which we have there is a page size concept the page size which i use like um, uh, I'll use around uh, 1000, we'll try to use page size as 100 or otherwise you can use page size as 100 or you can use 1000. Now we'll try to run this one and when we run this one we'll see what happens. So we, we have got this one earlier the first one which we deleted no worries. We'll try to run this one and this time we'll see what errors we will get and then how to resolve those. it is trying to read first thousand items Now the script is running it is trying to read items from the list now it is displaying new item 9 10 so it is displaying one one after another and the same way and we are not written any statement once it is deleted so that's why it is not showing anything uh, regarding the deletion but uh, so this will do its job it will delete the items one after another so to check that one first we uh, we can go back to the list and in this list if you scroll up you can able to see now the id number 6970 is available and before that items are not available so if you go here and 68 is the item and this time which is a 87 so it is deleting the items now i am trying to delete all the items from the list and once it is deleted and it will show the numbers here now it is deleted 100 items so this way what uh, we can do is we can loop the items using powershell script or pnp powershell script we can delete all the items with script so now we have written almost four to five five lines of the script and it will do complete job and it will delete all the items from the list so this list contains more than two lakhs forty eight thousand items it will take a lot of time to delete but uh, you know script will not stop and it will run continuously until the system stops or you know until we click this pass symbol it will not stop it will delete continuously from the list and we can able to check here as well again